Monarch fails, the Confederates will continue to raid our gold shipments. Has the captain left Bora Grande yet? Last night, he's on the train to Omaha, traveling under the name of Charles Mason. The man calling himself Charles Mason is Captain Steve Clark. You're sure of that, Trina? Just as sure as I am that you're Alex Morrell. Yes. That is why, my dear, the good captain must never reach Oro Grande. I'm afraid, my dear, the coupling on the last car is just broken. How do you feel? Well, alive, thanks to you. Ah, forget it. Hey! Look, the train came back for us. Come on. Seems to me it's about time we got acquainted. My name's Charles Mason. Just call me Idaho. That's a funny thing. Tutors always make me sleepy. <laughs> I'm not crying, am I? No, 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 not at all. Mr. Mason, I just wanted to tell you how glad I am that you're safe. Well, thank you, Mr. Sard. I feel pretty good about it myself. <laughs> Captain Clark does not suspect us. Good. What did you find out about the man who saved him? He is as much a stranger to Clark as he is to us. I thought he was with Clark. That little fool. I sacrificed three men because of his interference. And I've always been told that the great Alex Morrell never fails. Do not overlook the fact, my dear, that Captain Clark is still a long way from Aldo Grande. Now, Logan. I want you to tell me all you know about those cutthroats you've been riding with. It's only fair to warn you, since you're a gorilla, no matter what you say, you hang. I know, sir. But I'm not a gorilla or a confederate. I'm a member of the United States Secret Service. Well, I'm not going to take your word for that. I don't expect you to. Do you happen to know Captain Steve Clark? Not personally, only by reputation. Well, that'll do. I'm Jim Clark, Steve's younger brother. Lieutenant, United States Army. So you're Captain Clark's younger brother. Risen from the dead, I suppose. Well, Logan, it won't be hard to disprove that claim. Captain Clark is on his way to Oro Grande right now. Steve coming here? Yes, so I'll postpone your hanging until after his arrival. Come in. Oh, Kathy, do you know any place fairly close where I can hide this man under guard? There's an abandoned shack on Lookout Ridge. Good. I'll have my men take him there secretly tonight. Washington? No, Dan. Mr. Charles Mason, care of Wells Fargo, Omaha. stage forever. I guess Captain Clark has missed it. Yes. Probably on purpose. Alex, suppose Captain Clark is investigating us instead of the Confederates after all. We've guarded our secret too well. Grabman allows for the possibility. That's why he must be removed.
Say, mister, do you know somebody around here by the name of Charles Mason? Right the first time. That's my handle. Gee, I'll have to get change for you. Get it. But you keep it, Sonny. Gee, thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, you can go now. All right, let's go. Idaho, what are you doing here? Looking for you. I want to make sure before I showed myself. Too smart for me, Steve. Steve, I don't get you. I'm Chuck Mason. I know different. You're Captain Steve Clark, United States Secret Service. I think it's about time I found out about you. Go over there and sit down. All right. Just why did you follow me? I read a telegram that came for you back in Omaha. I figured you was traveling alone, so I hit the saddle at the first Remont station. Can I uh, take my hands down now? Yeah. Thanks. You're a nosy cuss, aren't you? Yeah. That's why Wells Fargo pays me. I'm a detective. All right, where's the telegram? Right here. I must have lost a change in clothes, but I can tell you what was in it. Picking pockets has certain advantages. Obviously. Thanks to that, we learned that Jeff Logan is really Clark's brother. It's true you were wrong on the train. That stranger must know Clark. I'm sure he's going to meet him. They can travel faster than we can, they? Oh, yes. They'll be in Oro Grande first. Then Clark will talk to his brother, who must know something about our organization. What can we do? I've taken care of that, my dear. Telegrams travel even faster than Captain Clark. The Secret Service notified Wells Fargo that you were on the case. Wells Fargo told me. That's why I read the telegram about your brother. Well, that's twice you've helped me. You've uh, got a mortgage on my gratitude, Idaho. Thanks. <laughs> Say, did you ever see this before? Yes, in Fessenden's office, where I got this one. It came from a man who tried to murder me. This one I got was found on our agent at Oro Grande, Jed Haynes. They murdered him. Yeah, I know, but how do these coins and Haynes tie in with the gold raiders? We reckon the coin is some sort of password that Haynes found out about. So they shut him up. Can we get remounts at your stage depot? We can get anything that Wells Fargo's got. All right, we're riding. Good. Here's a telegram for you, Hank. Dan says for you to pay him in the morning. Thanks, Bill. Tell Dan next time he won't be paid unless he delivers the telegram in person. Feel me out. What's up now?
from Morrell, but it doesn't make sense. I happen to know that Morrell doesn't do business with a firm called Low Gantry and Company. So do I. Simply means he's trying to tell us something without anybody suspecting. Low Gan. Unreliable. What's that cancel order it wants me? Equals one word. Kill. You know, Morell's amazing, finding out about Logan way back there. Yeah, but he does know the latest. Colonel Sulu has got Logan staked out someplace. Staked out? He's gone? Yeah, sometime tonight, but I can't find where. Well, you've got your orders. Yeah, giving orders is a lot easier than taking them. Suppose Logan has left the country. Mr. Morell is not interested in suppositions. what we're really doing? No. He still thinks we're loyal Confederates. Well, it's lucky for him that he does. Here he comes. It's about time you reported, Braddock. What held you up? I couldn't find where Sewell's been hiding Logan. You know where he is now? Yeah, I found out this morning, and that ain't all. Logan's brother hasn't arrived in Ora Grande yet. Good. How about Colonel Sewell? Yeah, he's still trying to make Logan talk. How do you know that? We're all spies. Logan's waiting for his brother. See you all right. Then laugh. Are you sure you don't want me to run any errands for you, Colonel Sewell? Oh, just a minute, Kathy, please. Colonel Sewell? Yes. Mason, I can't tell you how glad I am to see you. Oh, Mr. Mason, this is Miss Kathy Haynes, Wells Fargo agent here. Wells Fargo is to be congratulated, Miss Haynes. Thanks. This is Idaho Jones. Howdy. Glad to know you. Idaho? I've been expecting you. This is the man I told you about. Sir, sure. the Raiders are trying to get Jeff Logan. Kathy, you'll have to go for the troops. They're in Brush Canyon now, searching for those Raiders. Report to a doctor. Yes, sir. How do we get to my brother? Right due west. You'll hear the firing. There are two other soldiers with him in an old shack. <laughs> Sick man. It's lucky you followed them raiders. Too bad that sword you got away, but it isn't going to do him any good. Stay here and cover me, Idaho. Sure, Steve. Thank you. 
Jeff. It's good to see you. One of our men made the back wall. They didn't spot him. Yeah, we might not have to use this coal oil after all. What's the insight on these gold raids, Jim? It's more than anybody suspects. It's bigger than north or south. And the place to start looking is the Golden Eagle. They got our man. They did, huh? Get that torch ready. How is he? He's alive, but I don't know for how long. I don't know about us either. 